This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you hit that bell and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to run ads on the channel, it's jordantowermedia at gmail.com. Well, strip clubs in New York, they've been making headlines for the past few weeks because dancers say they get nearly naked, but the bottle girls and the bartenders are getting all the money. And it makes no sense because there would be no strip club without the strippers you know this has been a big thing they're good they're striking they're claiming racism and all this stuff where did all this come from how did the bartender how did the bernice burgoses become bigger than the strippers themselves you know and the answer is it all started with t pain okay he had a song a long time ago called bartender and pretty much predicted that bartenders are hotter than the strippers meaning like he'll connect with a a bartender more than a stripper you know because she's making you drinks you get drunk you know uh as soon as you step in the club you connect with a bartender um there you're hitting it off something proper with them he's like a fortune teller at this point because you know, Mano uh, has been making a documentary and talking about this. And, you know, it's a new thing that bartenders are actually, you know, people are going to the clubs and spending more money on the bartenders than they are on the strippers. You know, they'll go there to meet up with the bartenders and they don't even have to get naked. When starlets open up and then every they started to, you know, promote. That was the star tenders in the... the star, exactly. So that go. was the template. Right, the star so tenders. star tenders... So it started, they're called star tenders. They're not even called bartenders anymore. And he pretty much, T-Pain pretty much predicted this whole movement back in 2007. It didn't completely take off until 2012 in the New York strip clubs. And T-Pain said that this happened because down south, it's still kind of even because people, you know, the strippers are more famous. You know, they're the, the, because people go in there. And when you spend your money, the girls don't run to collect the money. It's not a fight over the money. You know, they'll get they'll be able to pick up their money. But down in New York, he says, the the strippers stop when you start throwing money and they start collecting that stuff. When you know you're like, whoa, I'm I'm just here to throw some money and enjoy myself. But the girls start fighting over the money in front of you. You know, it, it's more attractive to uh, go see the bartenders. This is the template for what I'm talking yeah, I was, about. I uh, was tatted up. H Holly, yeah. Tatted up Holly. No, no, that was no, uh, uh, Bernice Burgos. Bernard, Bernice, uh, yeah, she uh, Jenny Romero, that was the okay, original, all right, all you right. know, Gracie, the original star tenor. So they, they, they was like Legends kind of, in the game. You know, some of them still there. So I'm going to link this below and you can listen to Mano talk about it. But isn't that crazy that it was all started with T-Pain? He influenced this whole movement. And that's it's pretty cool. <laughs> Anyways, guys. I'll check you guys in the next video. Make sure you hit that bell, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to run ads on the channel, shortentitlemedia at gmail.com. And I'll check you guys on the next video.